YouTube, my name is Wildboy5699. Welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Wildboy. Now, this is an overdue episode. Now, about a month ago, I made a community tab poll asking which story did you want to hear for the next episode of Storytime with Wildboy? My first concert or my first fight? Surprisingly, more people voted for the first concert instead of the first fight. So, for this story, we're going to be talking about my first ever concert. Now, many of you guys know I've been to several concerts the past couple of years. Uh, I went to my first concert back. All the way in September 2011 when I was 12 years old. And I'm going to tell you about it, who I saw and all that. So, the first band I ever saw live in concert was Hinder. And they are a band, rock band from Oklahoma City. And they have a big hit with the song Lips of an Angel. And many people called them a one-hit wonder because that song was a hit and all that. I'm like, no, they've actually had many other hits. And they're, the people they have any, people come people call them a one-hit wonder and all that, which are not. And then I got into them probably... 6th grade, toward the end of 6th grade year, and I talk, and it's funny because I knew the song Lips of an Angel before I even knew Hinder was because there was a country version by the name of Jack Ingram who did a country version of that song, and I heard that version before I heard the original Hinder version, and I used to play the shit out of this Guitar Hero game called Band Hero, which is probably my favorite Guitar Hero game, even though it's called Band Hero, but it's part of Guitar Hero, and they, um, uh, there was a song on there called Lips of an Angel, and I thought, uh, is this the same song? Sure it was. It was Hinder. Played it. I'm like, oh, I like this band. I like this song. When you hear the original version, looked it up on YouTube. And then I found what their bands, and they're kind of a band that talks about drinking, sex, and all that, and all that stuff. And probably shouldn't hear my 12, what, my 12 year, 12 year old boy, mine. But I ended up getting addicted to them for many years. Uh, for my 12, uh, I found that one when I was 11, and I went to go see them live when I was 12. But, um,. I got a CD for my birthday, their first album, Extreme Behavior, which was as a CD and a DVD. And they're like, don't play the DVD because it could be something disgusting. It was just a concert with a lot of nudity and all that stuff. So, but I ended up going to see Hinder in 2011 in September because they, because every year we have a state fair where I live. And every year they bring, they bring a couple of people for concerts and back then they used to bring like big, properly names like hinder was one of the last bands performing at that fair this year the last concert they were playing and the same year they had like the band perry jared neiman uh what was another band um david wayne shepherd or something like that and then hinder was one of them and i wanted and we ended up they said we're gonna get the tickets they're supposed to be me and my mom were going but I ended up going by me and my dad and at the time i was still having anger issues i was bald-headed nobody wanted to do nothing with me nobody liked me so but I ended up getting, my parents ended up going to the fair, getting tickets the day before at the concert. And I'm like, ooh, can I get backstage passes and all that? Because I thought I was going to get backstage passes to meet the band before the show. And they're like, no, that wasn't, that did not happen. But, um, but, and then we, my, my sister, my brother, and my cousin, and my mom went to go ride rides. I probably did like one little fun house ride and that was about it. And then I got to go to the concert. They had a, they had an opening act called Middle Class Rut. I don't know if they're still together or not. I didn't hear them before. They had they were in a two peep two peep per two person band, a single guitar player and a drummer. And I don't remember that much about them. But uh, and then I ended up go like I said, ended up seeing Hinder. And that was a really good show. That was like I said, my first ever concert I ever went to. It was absolutely fun. Like I said, this was a lot like, people my mom was freaking out because of my overstimulation on loud noises. Loud concerts do not bother me. Surprisingly, I've been to many concerts and it never affected my eardrum, affected my hearing or allowed sensitive hearing, surprisingly. But I ended up seeing Hinder a lot. This was on their All American Nightmare Tour, which was their third album. And they, um, I saw them live with the original members. I got to sing Lives of an Angel, uh, Born to Be Wild, uh, Use Me, Better Than Me, All American Nightmare, and all the songs that I knew, <laughs> that I knew of. And then from where we were in the pit, because they didn't have seating arrangement, you can just go wherever you want. You can stay in the sand, stay in the pit or whatever. And there was already people in there. And I didn't, it was probably in the pit, but I was probably from here, probably till, not, I mean, I could still see their faces and all that. So my dad ended up going to sit down to the seats. And I remember there was a girl, who's probably like adult now, probably like 20, 20, 20, 22 at the time. And she asked me if I wanted to dance with her. I was like, no, I was 12 years old. Obviously, if I would have some girl would ask me to dance at a concert, rock concert, I would say yes in a heartbeat. But, and then I ended up finding a spot by the pit where it was right by the one of the guitar players. And so, and uh, it was a fun concert. I wanted to, Austin Winkler, I did, uh, did a reaction video to his video, Super Jaded. And 
he came by where I was a couple of times. I tried to wave at him a couple of times, but he would not see me. But the last time I tried to wave at him, he did end up waving, waving to me back. And that was a huge accomplishment for me. I was super proud of that. I was super happy about it because I waved to him many of times. And I thought he was just ignoring me and all that. But as soon as he came over for one more time, I waved over to him. And he waved back to me. And that was very awesome. Very awesome. That was very awesome. I was very pr happy about that. So, uh, we ended up leaving bef after, before the encore happened. And, of course, they played Get Stone, which is their last song. We didn't get to stick around that much because, again, my parents like to be in bed by 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. But uh, my sister ended up getting to ride the ride with my cousin and my brother. My brother was, like, 7 at the time. My sister was, like, 13. My cousin was, like, 14. This was, about t this was over 10 years ago. But I ended up going to the concert. Very, very fun. Uh, really awesome. Uh, then we ended up going to get Wendy's on the way home. And then, and then for a long period of time, before I got sent to the day stream, when people were like, you you have to see Hinder and all that's cool and all that and there was a rumor going around saying that the lead singer of Hinder was my uncle the lead singer of Hinder former lead singer was my uncle I said no, uh, but I didn't find out that rumor until when I got back from after leaving and went back to high school and we were like isn't the lead singer of Hinder your uncle I said no he's from Oklahoma City I saw them live but he's not my uncle I wish he was my uncle but the the only celebrity person I'm called celebrities is I'm related to my uncle's a rapper my cousin has it. <coughs> That's <laughs> a rap channel on YouTube with about 30,000 subscribers, so, whippy. And, um, so, and then, I don't know, but anyway, like I said, pretty much it for the concert. And then I didn't see a concert for another couple times, no, I didn't see another concert until 2014. Earlier 2014, it was a con little country concert that I really did not go on. That's my least favorite concert I went to. Uh, I did not fit into that concert because I wore, uh, shirt and shorts and I had my hair spiked up because I had short hair and everyone was wearing cowboys jeans and booty shorts and all that stuff I did not fit into that concert I didn't even have pit tickets in the concert we ended up getting tickets from like a friend or a Facebook friend or something like that who had to get tickets and all that so I ended up buying a CD and all that so like I said I did not like that concert I liked it at the time but I did not like it I don't like that concert it's my least favorite concert then I didn't see another concert for 15, 16, 17, 18 for another five years and then I ended up seeing Nickelback at the uh, at the Choctaw Casino in Durant, Oklahoma, which is about three hours from where I live, uh, so that's Nickelback. That was an awesome. They were both there, but my favorite band for a long time. Getting to see them live was absolutely incredible. Uh, I got to have pit tickets. Pit tickets cost about eighty dollars because it was a bigger venue, and uh, we got there. It was me and my dad because we were originally gonna go as a family, stay the night at the casino or stay the night in the hotel. Die. We ended up going me and my dad to just drive out the home, home in the middle of the night, which I would never do. I would get a hotel and go home the next morning if I car had a car and drove. But I ended up seeing Nickelback about three years ago. It'll be three years ago on the seventeenth, and then funny enough, and then I saw Buck Cherry a month later, and I had VIP tickets for that. But funny enough, I actually bought Buck Cherry tickets. Buck Cherry next month after before I bought Nickelback tickets because I bought tickets went on sale in April and the show was in August. Because uh, Buck Cherry was supposed to perform at the venue I went to the first time I saw them. They were supposed to be, tickets went on sale like in December or January and they were supposed to perform their sh that show where I was supposed to go in April. But I didn't buy tickets because if I if they performed that show in April I probably wouldn't have gone. But they had to reschedule it to September. Yes, September September. And so I ended up buying tickets for that originally, and I saw they had VIP tickets. I'm like, ooh, I want to meet Buck Cherry. And so I had like $200 to go on vacation to Texas. And so I ended up talking to my parents. It's like, hey, is it okay? Because at the time, I, I, I didn't have a job. But at, at the time, I was talking, and I said, hey, can I use $100 of my vacation money and buy VIP tickets to Buck Cherry? And my dad's like, well, I don't have a problem if your mom does. She goes, go ahead. So I ended up buying VIP tickets for that. So first time I saw them, met them, they were really, really cool sign. My CD, got a picture with them at the VIP Lemonade and all that. Good bass player gave me a pick. Uh, drummer gave me his uh, drumstick. Really, really cool. And so, and then I ended up seeing Skillet right before the pandemic, before everything shut down with my brother. Because I got brother, my brother's tickets to Skillet for, uh, for Christmas. And that was his first ever concert. And then I didn't go to another concert for about over a year until Buck Cherry came back to town. I'm like, ooh, I had so much fun. I'm going to go see them again and get VIP tickets again. Uh, I will never buy tickets to Buck Cherry or VIP tickets again to Buck Cherry ever again because last time I went to go speak via VIP, they acted like they did not want to be there. Their new guitar player was in a shit mood, looked like he's always in a shit mood with the pictures and all that, and he did not speak a single, single word. He just mumbled and grumbled, and so I took a picture and all that. There was like two other people there, and they were pissed off about it too, and she sent in the group chat how the VIP was a joke and she wanted a refund, which I agree. If I would have known about that at the time, I would have probably not gone to the show and asked for a refund. So, show of the opening act they had was of Limbo, 
worst opening act I've seen I ever seen. Um, Buck Cherry was not really a good show. Was not really a good, really great show, the second time around. And then I ended up not going to concert till March until I saw Steel Panther. Steel Panther is by far my favorite concert I've been to. That was just an awesome show to go for from start to finish. Uh, there was an opening act from a local from from a local band called Hollywood Rattled. They were just a bunch of cover bands singing cover songs and all that. And then they had an opening act from Maryland called Any Given Sin. Uh, they, at the time, after I saw Steel Panther, they were my favorite opening act I saw. And then and then after I saw Steel Panther, like two months later, I ended up seeing a band called Fozzy because I ended up getting my brother tickets to Fozzy, which is the right band Chris Jericho is in. It's like a video about that. They had three opening acts. Uh, they had an Nocturnal Affair, Crash Karma, and GFM. And GFM is an all grilled Christian rock band, heavy metal screamo band from Florida. And they are by far my favorite opening act I've ever seen. And it, it was originally Any Given Sin when I saw Steel Panther, but Any Given Sin probably comes in second place of the best opening acts. Uh, I did actually meet Any Given Sin after the show because a lot of the venues I go to is the same venue. And most of the time, the opening acts will go to their merch booth and meet, take pictures, and all that. It's funny because I still have the, sing the song sheet that the lead singer of the guitar bass player of GFN gave me. And so I'm like, oh, if they're going to come to the merch booth, I'm going to ask them to sign it, get a picture with them, and all that. So I ended up giving it to me, have it signed, and all that. And then it ended up me and the Crash Karma, other oh, Crash Karma band. Two person band with a German bass player, guitar player, and a singer, and a drummer. Uh, this drummer is also a singer. Really, really cool. And then I didn't meet the Nocturnal Affair because they weren't really that good either, but probably another of one of my least favorite opening acts. And then I haven't been to a concert for about three months. Uh, nobody's ever, um, I'm too, live too far away from a big venue to go see a big band. Uh, there hasn't been any other a uh, acts, perform artists I've been wanting to go see. So, uh, I almost did end up seeing Smash Mouth at the Choctaw Casino, not in Duran, but the one down where, about where I live. I, I almost got tickets to see Smash Mouth, but I decided against it because I just lost my job, losing, lost it at the shoe store. I said, no, I'm not going to get tickets to Smash Mouth and all that, because they got a new singer, the original singer, uh, he, had, he had some issues going on with him. And so, and then another band I was going to go, wanted to see was a band called Fuel. Which I sang one of their songs for karaoke for the first time. They were performing at the Cherokee Casino in Salem Springs. Which we have a Cherokee Casino here. But it wasn't the Cherokee Casino here they were performing at. It was the one in Salem Springs. And so like if they were to perform the one we have here in town. Or the one where I live at. I probably would have gone see them because it was a free show. I said damn. But hopefully they'll have other artists come around and all that uh we also there's also another the same venue in wichita kansas that have pretty much bring the same artists they actually had guar came the perform out of their venue up in wichita kansas but that's the venue we have here and then uh so i'm like ooh guar i'm like dude they uh they're kind of like i mean they play characters and all that like steel panther but they dress their like alien stuff uh but like ooh, like ooh that would have been that would be an awesome show but Nobody want to come see around. I want to see for a while. So hopefully they'll bring other people back. If they bring back, I don't know. Maybe like if Skillet comes back to the venue and they have VIP tickets, I'm going to get them. I tried to talk to my parents and, and my brother getting VIP tickets for Fozzie. But they thought they were too expensive. But um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. About pretty much talking about my first concert and then all the con other concerts I went to. So I saw Hinder, Country Concert, Nickelback, Buck Cherry, Skillet. Buck Jerry again, Steel Panther, and Foster. So I've been in a total of eight concerts so far in my life. And I would say maybe I'm a concert goer, but like I don't go to every single concert that the venues perform. I'll just artists I really like that I know like. So that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, tell me some of you guys' concert stories, your favorite concert you went to, your first concert you went to. If you haven't been to a concert, who's somebody you want to see? Uh, that's pretty much it for the video. If you died, guys enjoyed the video, make sure you read a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on the future video. Take it easy.